Today in our 2018 Mitsubishi Outlander Sport, we're going to be test fitting the Kuwat NV 2.0 2 bike platform rack for 2 inch hitches. Part number NV22G. This is going to come in gray in color. There's also one that comes in black as well. And like most platform style racks, this can tilt away from the vehicle with both bikes attached. What makes it a little different though is the mechanism on how it tilts forward. We're going to have this handle here with just a grab with their hand pulling it towards us that'll let it tilt forward. A lot of other bike racks will have pins that you have to remove or handles that you have to reach through two bikes to get to and this one is just a little bit easier. So you want to hold on to the bike rack as you pull the handle towards you and let it come down. And now we have full hatch access to get what we need. And there's more than enough space in between the bike rack and the bumper of the vehicle to get what we need, even with the bulkier items. Also, I would like to point out that seeing our handlebars here and the hatch, there is more than enough clearance as well. So even with your standard uh, mountain bikes where the handlebars are going to be sticking out just a little bit further, that's not going to be an issue. All right, to put it back in its original position, just lift up on the bike rack. You're going to hear a little bit of a click. Now how this is actually attached to the bike rack, we're going to have two points of contact. We're going to have these rear wheel straps here, and these are adjustable back and forth to accommodate bikes of different sizes. Also at the end, we'll have these integrated cable locks to secure the, your bike to the bike rack. And it's going to be on both sides. Also at the front, we're going to have this wheel hook. Now with the wheel hook, that's going to make it a lot easier for your carbon frame bikes so they're not going to be pushed down on like you have with the main mass style platform racks. So it's going to help protect the frame of your bike, but also it's going to allow you to carry different style bikes with much more ease, such as your alternate frame bikes and your kids' bikes. Because with those, if you have the straight up stand up mast, you have to push further down or you have to get a bike adapter bar to make that work with another bike. In this case, that's not going to be an issue. Let's go ahead and take the bike off and set it aside. We'll start with our rear wheel strap. We'll push in on the gray tab. That's how you release it. And then with the wheel hook, there's this button at the very top. Now you want to hold on to the bike when you release this because you don't want it falling into the vehicle. Just push the top button. That'll release it. To put it in place, it ratchets into place. Very easy. Right, everything folds nice and flat and at this point we can also open up our rear hatch if we wanted to. But right now I'd like to give you a couple quick measurements. Measuring from the edge of the bumper to our outermost point we've added 32 and a half inches to this edge here. Our ground clearance is going to be 21 inches and our closest point is going to be 9 inches to this edge here. At this point, we can fold up the bike rack as well for those close quarter situations. For example, pushing it up. And now also, I'd like to point out that it does have a foot pedal here too to push down and release it back down to make that a little bit easier for you as well. Again, measuring from the edge of the bumper to our outer edge now, which is going to be our turn knob here, that's going to be 16 inches, so that's a huge difference. Our ground clearance is 11 and 3 quarter inches. And the closest point is going to be 4 and 3 quarter inches to this edge here. How this attaches to the hitch, it's going to be pretty much a tool free install. Now we do have a hitch bolt and lock here to help secure it to the vehicle. But at the end, it's going to attach it in place with this anti-rattle knob. You turn it to the right to tighten it up, and that's going to take out the shake and play in the shank and make for a much smoother ride. Another nice feature about this is up at the top here, we actually have a work stand with this. You flip out the portion here, and this lifts up, close it back up for it to hold in place. Of course, we need to tilt it out. <laughs> 
and it'll grab your bike by the frame here so you can make any maintenance or do any maintenance that you need to before or after your ride. And there you have it for the Kuat NV 2.0 two bike platform rack on our 2018 Mitsubishi Outlander Sport. First we'll take it onto our slalom course. This will show you the side to side action such as making turns or evasive maneuvers. Now we're at the alternating speed bumps. This will show you how it looks driving on uneven pavement or potholes. Finally, we're at the solid speed bumps, which simulates going into your driveway or parking lots.